All right, I'm going to be testing Norton Internet Security 2010. Uh, we're going to see how it does. I'm going to start installing it here. And um, this just received the gold award from abcomparatives.org. They uh, are now saying that this is the best antivirus protection now, not internet security protection protection they rated kind of they rated Norton antivirus and this has some extra features and so this should do good we'll see how it does I know I did the beta uh, this is slightly different from the beta of course and um, I'm interested to see how it does it's a quick installer it's almost done necessarily and uh, as I know from Norton it's probably not going to ask me to restart so we can just keep going here. I won't bother pausing the video. And here we go. I see that icon on the taskbar there. And uh, let's see. Let's go away. And we'll get started here. So I'll be right back. I just need to figure out the Norton account stuff. Okay, we're going to look around here because uh, there's a lot of fun to take a look at. Um, I somehow got a 60-day subscription through Softpedia. Don't know how that worked out, but I did. Uh, if we look at the details here, uh, it tells me the file count that Norton Community has as good files, and it's constantly updating. And then it also is telling me the building reputation files and the known bad files. So if you notice... There are over 12 million known bad files, so it's a lot to watch out for that Norton has. All of the resource usage really right now is Norton because I don't really have anything else on here. So Norton's the biggest contributor. We're going to run live update here, get some definitions going. While that's running, we're going to go and take a look at some settings. We're going to see how we configure this. So, we are going to say remove infected compressed files. And, uh, yes, that's fine. Wait, I mean, no, I want it on. Just lots of confusing stuff. We're going to turn the heuristics on aggressive and low risks. We're going to ask me tracking cookies. We're going to ask me. I'm going to leave that stuff alone there. I'm going to leave that stuff alone. I'm going to say we're going to do a full scan when it scans. Well, we're going to do full scan, definitely, because I don't trust anything, do I? Uh, this stuff's good. Uh, early load you definitely want to turn on because that'll just that'll just catch anything. Um, no, we don't want that to. We're gonna turn this on aggressive too, because we want to see what Norton can do, right? We configure this. Let's see if we get any. Uh, yep, that's perfect. And uh, I did forget to click this. We're gonna see. That's fine. And that list is set. So if we go to network settings, take a look here. Uh, I don't really need to change. Ah, intrusion prevention. Let's take a look at this because this is good stuff here. This is fine. Uh, intrusion signatures. Okay, looks like we got a lot of intrusion signatures. Smart firewall. Nope, don't want to block all network traffic. Uh, if we take a look at this, download insight. We can do always, never. We'll do unproven only. Identity safe, that's fine miscellaneous settings so we have product security we can 
That's all fine stuff there. Don't need to really change any of that. And don't want to install that. Let's just see what some of these themes look like. So it's a different theme. It's kind of cool. And live update did finish here, so that's all good. And I'll be right back when I get my links. Alright, going to load my malware up here. And going to load the browser. So, I'm excited to see how Norton does here. I have the same list here as um, I tested with Trend Micro Internet Security, so I'm excited to see how they compare. So, right here, we're running a file, and... All right. You are the very first, one of the very first Norton users to download this file. Gee, that sounds like a pretty new file. Um, gee, if it was really good, you know, I'd just run the program anyway, right? Um, I'm going to remove the file from my system because I'm smart enough to know that that sounds risky. Needs attention. So we have another one of these. You are one of the very first. So, it was very new. It was released less than one week ago. I'm going to remove the file. I, I don't want to risk my computer with something that silly. I should have removed that one. So, as you can see, Norton Signature Database might not be all that great. Um, from what I see... It's the download protection doing everything. So, let's see. We're going to remove that one, too. Because it looks kind of weird, you know. Ah, so this one... It's giving that place, uh, it's also saying that it's a bad website if, with that little X there. We're going to remove that one from the system also. I'm hoping we see some uh, signature detection out of Norton. Um, ah, it got that one. And it should have taken it right out. I think this might be the same thing. It's analyzing it, and it found the threat. I guess that was the same thing. And maybe this is the same thing, too. No, as I remember, that was a broken link. So, move on here with our executables. And we download plugin.exe. And we'll run that. And Norton doesn't have any idea. And so we'll knock it out. I think we're all getting the idea here. Uh, found that one. And I'm going to have to speed up here because I'm hoping to make this one video, not two. You don't want to wait for that. Going to remove it. Going to run this one. Found it as a threat. That's great. And this one here, we will see. So Norton's doing pretty well except for their signatures, which is fine. Their download insight does great. And thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.